Hello, it's uh, from Acts chapter 10. It is a, a pretty historical story in which uh, Peter is invited to go and share a message with a Gentile audience. And Peter kind of pushes back, but he eventually follows uh, the lead and, and makes his way to Cornelius and the Gentiles uh, to, to carry his message to those individuals. And the fascinating thing is that Peter thinks this is a, a futile excursion. You know, why even do this? I mean, this is, these are not the people that we're trying to reach. And Peter gets to his destination, meets Cornelius, meets Cornelius' his family and friends, and he proclaims the message of Jesus and Jesus' love to that household and those that are in the household. And they are compelled. And they are ready to change their lives uh, for that journey to be a Jesus follower. Peter is kind of just kind of dumbstruck. Like, going, really? You want to do this? Um, an invitation uh, to follow or to do something is really powerful. We can just assume that uh, people can find us at St. Andrew Christian Church. Uh, they go to the website, or they drive by the church, or whatever it might be, um, that people will find us in our message that we value so much. But there's something about an invitation that makes a difference, that we have to take the risk and invite people into the experience we know and love in a meaningful way. Invitations can be hard. I would say maybe one of the hardest places for invitations to happen is a progressive Christian space. Because the last thing we want to do is invite people in and make people uncomfortable and force people to do something they don't want to do. Uh, we have images of inviting, or I would use the, the infamous E word evangelism, where we're kind of coercing people into this, this role of, of following the faith that we follow ourselves. And yet we experience something extremely valuable and meaningful, it has a lot of depth to it, a lot of significance in our life. And we know that other people could find strength by being a part of the journey that we're on. Not that we have it all figured out, not that we have all the answers, but we find value in being here. And so sometimes the invitation is actually a verbal invitation to someone else to join you. I'm doing this thing on Sunday, or I'm doing going to this event on Wednesday. It is life-giving to me. And I think it might be life-giving to you. We, you know, I'd be glad to come pick you up. Come join me for this. Or it could be the invitation is us being in places where people can see us as a church community, being present in the community as a church, um, out of the community, um, at different uh, walks or demonstrations or rallies or events, uh, things that reflect our values. We want to be in those places when people see us and us representing the church, saying, oh, if the church believes in this, maybe this is something I want to be a part of as well. And so we'll explore the nature of, of invitation in a progressive theological context and the value to the invitation. I think it's an important question to ask, and that question almost begs us to ask within ourselves, how can I be a part of why invite at St. Andrew Christian Church? So I hope you join us on Sunday.